Well, the holidays are here. In today's video, we're going to do a new eye look and I'm going to show you how to do a winged liner. So stay tuned. Before we get started with our video, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My name is Mimi. This is Simply Sophisticated Over 50. We're going to use, once again, Tease the Season 35 Shade Eyeshadow Palette from Morphe. That's one of the products we're going to use. Another thing we're going to use for the eyeliner, I'm going to use for the wing, I'm going to use Quick Liner Eyes Intense by Clinique. This shade is Intense Black. I'm going to use that for the wing. And then for the waterline of my eyes, I'm going to use Le Crayon Coal from Lancome. This shade is 602 Black Ebony. This works really well for the waterline. My mascara, I'm going to use the Liquid Lash Extensions from Thrives Cosmetics. I will link everything in the description below. By the way, I don't receive any kind of sponsorships from these companies. I just want to show you what I use and how well these products work. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime. This has really become one of my favorites. But before I put on any eyeshadow, I always like to fill in my brows so that I can have a frame, like a frame of reference for my eyeshadow. And I always start with the Brow Multitasker from Estee Lauder in the shade Brunette. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by putting on my eyeshadow primer. We're going to press in. I've already put my brow shadow on to save a little bit of time. The shade I'm going to start with is this lighter shade here. It's called Very Revealing. I'm going to put that on my lid and right below my brow bone. The next shade I'm going to do is Most Wanted. It's a purple and I'm going to put that just right in my crease. This one has a little shimmer to it, so I don't want it too high up on my eyelid. Next, I'm going to use the shade Now Presenting. I'm going to put that right up here, right above my crease. The brush I'm using is an angle brush. I do want to add something that's going to be really bright and fun and colorful for like if I'm going to a party, like a holiday party. But before I do that, I'm going to finish up with a wing liner. So I'm going to blend all these shades together. This is just one technique to do a wing. You can use eyeshadow. You can use different types of pencils. I'm going to use this retractable pencil. You can use any kind you want, but I, like I said, I wanted to use the Clinique. This one is Quick Liner Intense, Quick Liner for Eyes Intense in Ebony Black. This is really thin. If you can see, it's already got a point to it. And how we're going to start this is we're going to come over here to the corner 
of the eye. Now eyeliner, the purpose for eyeliner is really to extend your lashes and to make them look fuller. So a lot of times you can go way overboard and sometimes it's really fun to do that, especially during the holidays, but you definitely want to make sure that it looks like an extension of your lashes. So what I want to do for hooded eyes, it can be really tricky for hooded eyes to make a wing. You can draw a line and then as soon as you look normal, it kind of goes off to the side. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to draw it. I'm going to go to the very end of my lash line and I'm going to go upward. I'm not going to go too far upward, but I'm going to go upward with this pencil. You see how it's straight up and down instead of out? If I do it out to the side, it's going to bend. Okay, so we've got that so far. I know that looks funny. <laughs> and then we're going to extend it out just a little bit more. And then... You can either make a triangle, which I've done many times, or you can leave it as it is and fill it in on the lash line. Try to get as close to your lashes as you can with a liner. This goes on so smooth and so creamy, it's really easy to apply. You're going to want an angle brush. I used this angle brush earlier and it's got eyeshadow on it. If you remember, I'm going to use this angled brush again to blend this in. And you can go ahead and take that right across your lash line. And that way it has a more natural appearance because it's blending in with the shades and the colors. And as you're doing this, look in the mirror, step back, look in the mirror. And if it looks like it's too high up or too far over here, you can always clean it up. You can always add to it. You can take away from it. And I feel like this needs to go out just a little bit more. There we go. So once again, I'm going to the edge of my lash line and I'm going to go up, but I don't want to go up too straight. And across the lash line. And once again, I'm going to use this brush and blend it. Okay, now I wanted to add another fun color from the eyeshadow palette. We're going to use this shade right here called Rap Star, W-R-A-P, which that's kind of how I feel right now as many gifts as I've <laughs> been wrapping this week. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right below where I have the other shade, right on the top part of my lid. That is so pretty. It's super sparkly. You may have to go back with your eyeliner if the eyeshadow wipes it off. 
There's another shade here called Stocking Stunner. I'm going to use that one too. That's a warmer gold. Wow. <laughs> and now what I want to do is I want to go back over it one more time with just a nice dark matte shade right in the crease. So I'm going to go with a really dark purple bow tied. Then I just went right back over the top again with my light shade and I'm just going to kind of blend it all in because I do want to put the liner on my waterline. So I'm going to get, do that next. This lawn comb. If you find it challenging to put liner on your waterline, if you just put it right at the base of the lashes, you could even kind of blink. That definitely helps. Mascara time. I really like this mascara because I think one thing I love about it is that it goes on like little tubes. And when you take it off at night, it just slides right off. Very easy to remove. A little more this on. Just right over the line I drew earlier. Then I'm going to finish my brows. I'm using the Lift and Snatch Brow by NYX. Okay, there we go. So I just stepped back, I looked in the mirror, and I noticed that this side was too high up. So I didn't have to start all over again. I just kind of rubbed it off and then reapplied the liner. You just gotta play around with it till you get it right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an enjoyable holiday season. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.